Right. So, so here they want us to figure out uh, if the system as the motion of the mass on the spring is under damped, critically damped, or over damped. Yeah. Then solve the differential equation, plot its numerical solution using a computer code, uh, section 3.5, penal code section 3.5, <laughs> uh, with initial conditions <laughs> x of 0 equals 2. Yeah? Yeah. And um, what else? Uh, x prime of 0 is minus 1. Well, we, we clearly know that the system is damped because we have a velocity term in the yeah. differential equation. Okay. So the only thing that remains to be done is to determine whether it's um, um, critically damped, over damped, or under damped, and then solve it. And that will depend on the roots of the characteristic equation. Yeah? Right. So then, uh, you know, this is a second order yeah. homogeneous linear differential equation. And you could solve it using the methods we've been doing before. Characteristic equation, find the roots, and then they'll either be exponential, sine, cosine, and cosine, depending on what the roots are, no? Yeah, so, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so here, uh, our characteristic equation will be r squared plus r plus 1 equals 0. And we can either factor or use the quadratic formula. This one doesn't factor, so you would have to use the quadratic formula. Okay. So, right. Anything is factorable, basically. Yeah. yeah. But it's just easier to do it with quadratic yeah, formula yeah. because we're not doing like if it doesn't factor. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, uh, quadratic formula, I'm sure you, you know what it is. Yeah? Yeah. Minus b plus or minus so square root b squared uh, minus 4ac all over 2a. So yeah. here a is 1, b is 1, and c is 1. Second quarter minus 4. Oh, yeah. Right. Over 2. So we get <coughs> minus 1 plus or minus. Now we'll get a negative under the square root, but we can rectify that with an i. Yeah? So it will be i root 3 over 2. OK, then you should be working this too, because uh, you need the practice. Okay, so uh, let me know if you get stuck in there. So we're going to find the roots. fact that we got complex roots, that just means this is uh, an under damped motion. Complex conjugates. Under damped. So, 
our solution for the differential equation will be uh, so this is the same thing as minus half plus or minus root 3 over 2 r so the real part is the power of the exponential and the imaginary part is the sine and cosine Now, the question is just saying to solve it using a numerical method. Don't do it by hand. It's doable by hand because we have an initial condition. But the, the question isn't asking you to solve it by hand. Uh, you could because you do have initial conditions to find your variables. Um, right. But, uh, but you don't have to. As long as you mention the type of damping and uh, the, uh, 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 you know, you could, uh, uh, you could uh, use um, um, Euler's method. Computers would do this very quickly, of course, it would take much longer with hand, but, you know, um, so yeah, we'll just get the general form of the solution and then say the kind of damping and that'll be it. But, but technically we are able to solve for the variables because we have two initial conditions. So if we do show that as a numerical method, the graph will look something uh, like this. So this is time here, and this is x. And let me turn this into grids. So technically, we know that this starts at 2, because x is 0 equals 2. And we know that eventually, as t goes to infinity, it's going to decay to 0. And we know that although we do have an amplitude of whatever a and b turn out to be, due to the sine and cosine term, it's a decaying amplitude. And uh, we know so the uh, underadapting will look something like this. And it's going to decay all the way to zero at infinity. So this is sort of what the graph will look like with decaying uh, starting at 2 and we know that the velocity of me is negative 1 0 so it's got to go down a negative slope yeah. with time we can find exactly where t equals 0 from here right uh, I mean you know uh, we can find exactly what those points are those are the roots but other than that the behavior is pretty standard for an under damping system. Right. And, uh, Already? So it won't, so it'll only go below zero once? Um, yeah. And, you know, this is using the numerical method. You could verify that. 
you know, by finding the slopes, uh, sorry, the zeros, yeah. by setting x equals zero and solving this. Yeah, right. right. And uh, this will happen at two points, right. basically, where cosine, um, whatever the relationship between the cosine and sine turn out to be after we solve this. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Okay, then, where are you? So uh, let's continue down. Yeah.